What is up, good people? We are back and we deployed a Unify controller in the very last video we did. Check it out. I'll just copy my public IP from the Azure portal here and I'll just browse to it real quick and show you what we're going to be doing in this video. See, when I browse to this right now, I get confronted with, well, I don't have the green little lock here and it says the connection is not secure. That's not good. I, I want this to be secure. But applying security, applying SSL certificates is usually an expensive thing. You have to buy an SSL certificate, and then there's a lot of steps with applying it, and it's, it's a mess until now. Someone has created a set of scripts and steps to follow along that's going to make this process a lot easier and free, because Let's Encrypt will issue certificates for free. So let me show you what we can do. We're going to go to a little website. You can get it in the description, and we'll follow along with those steps. Okay, I stumbled across this the other day, this Crosstalk Solutions website where they had provided a script that will handle a lot of this stuff for us already. Now, it's a little out of date, just a tiny bit. We're going to get confronted with a couple more options than this outlines, but I'll walk you through the steps and it's going to be super easy. Now, first things first, from the Unify portal, let me just slide this down a little bit. We're going to have to open ports 80 and 443, not 8080 and 8443, just 80 and 443 in order for this to work. See, what it's going to do behind the scenes is actually going to spin up a little web server and validate with Let's Encrypt that we are who we say we are, that we're not trying to hack someone. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to open 80 and 443 in the network security group rules, just like we did in the last video. All right, 80 is done. Let's go ahead and add 443. We'll just choose port 443, and we'll change the name here to port 443, and choose, oop, got to change the priority. There we go, 340. We'll do add, and now we have port 443 being created. While that's being created, I'm also going to have to create a DNS name. Now, I have a domain that I purchased for very cheap on GoDaddy, godaddy.com. You can put like yourname.tech or yourname.systems, something easy to buy a domain. It's going to cost you, you know, a little bit of money. I think mine was like 20 bucks, um, 20 bucks a year. It's not terrible. So I can get going with Knox's data. Uh, that's what I use for my CBT Nuggets videos. When I'm demoing Azure, I use Knox's data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a record, and it's going to be an A record. That's going to point the name Unify Controller to the IP address of my Unify Controller. So let's go ahead and go back here. We'll go to the overview. I'll copy this IP address, and we'll paste it in here and click Save. So now what I should be able to do is I should be able to go to unifycontroller.com or .noxusdata.com and it should bring up this page. Let's try that out. I'll try unifycontroller.noxusdata.com. Oop, we need to do HTTPS and port 443. There we go. Now I'm getting this warning again, and that's what I'm trying to get rid of, right? All right, cool. So at least we know DNS is working at this point. So now we can start following these steps. Well, first I'm going to allow 80 and 443 on my controller. So let's slide my shell back up, paste these in, press enter to that. 80 and 443 are rocking and rolling. Now we're going to install Let's Encrypt. So let's go ahead and do an apt update and Let's Encrypt. We'll say yes to this. All right, Let's Encrypt has been installed. Let's move on to the next step. Let's just make sure this is going to generate our certificates here. We'll say paste. All right, first thing we want to do here is going to prompt us, what would you like to authenticate with? We are going to be spinning up a temporary web server. That's why we had to open 80 and 443. I'll press 1 and press Enter. Now, what is an email address that we're going to be using? I'm just going to put Knox at Knox'sData.com. You can put your own email address here. You should put your own email address there. Let me put it that way. Uh, that way you can be contacted for any sort of renewal and security notices. We'll press Enter. We're going to say we agree to the terms with A. We'll say, yes, I'm willing to participate in some good stuff to help you figure out what's going on. Please enter your domain name. Well, this was Unify Controller dot noxusdata.com and I'll press enter to that all right there we go congratulations your certificate and chain has been saved on your machine you have just been issued a publicly routable certificate now we need to apply it to our unify controller so let's go back to our steps and this chunk of stuff right here is a script that's going to do all of that for you that's what we need to do here we're going to copy and paste it to download the script and give ourselves ownership permissions of it. 
we'll say paste and enter. And now we need to do some editing in order to edit that script. So I'll copy this and use nano to edit this. Paste and enter. All right. First things first, right there, you can see the unify host name. That's what we need to change because this is going to be our host name. So this is going to be the unify controller.noxsdata.com or whatever your endpoint is going to be. We'll scroll down just a hair and see this, these are already uncommented for Red Hat and CentOS. Well, we're using a Ubuntu machine. So I'm going to comment these out and delete this and this and this. So those are undeleted now. I'm gonna scroll down just a hair and say what it wants us to. Okay, next let's enable Let's Encrypt mode. So we need to do LE mode and the directory needs to be uncommented. So let's find those. Oh, LE mode we need to set to yes. And I'll leave the second line here alone. And it says, now save and exit with control X followed by Y. I'll do control X. It says this has been modified. I'll say yes. And then I'll press enter to save it with the same name that it had. And now what we can do is we can run our script and this will apply the certificate to our Unify instance. Done. Is it done though? Is it? Let's go ahead and see. Unify controller dot Nox's data dot com Oop. colon eight four four three press enter ha ha green lock there we go connection is secured we have applied a certificate for free to our controller but we're not done now we need to set this thing up to auto renew because these let's encrypt controllers expire every three months so let's scroll down just a little bit more we're going to create a cron tab expression right here we'll just paste this in. This is gonna bring up cron tab. And on the very last line, I'm gonna uncomment this. We'll just press enter. And we are gonna copy and paste what these instructions were here. Let's grab this, paste these in. There we go. And just like we did with early before, I'm gonna do control X, say yes to save and press enter. There we go. We now have a Unify controller deployed in Azure, secured with SSL for an extremely low cost scenario. So that's all there is to deploying this stuff, guys. I hope you have really enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe. The subscribe button is free to click and it goes a really long way for content creators like me. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.